Hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Onbox Project and uh, today we're gonna answer a question from a Notebooks Project member. So he asked, um, how can we implement tests in a bad legacy code? And uh, I'm going to respond to this question, this amazing place here. So it's basically where uh, Hanaki Skywalker and Princess Padme had uh, their first kiss. And uh, yeah, so the first thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, we have to convince our superiors, we have to convince uh, them that um, no tests are bad for our project because um, without tests we can't track down a bug, we can't track down bugs, we can't, um, can't do much. So we have to show that numbers for them. So that's why um, soft skills are so important. We have to know how to present an idea to them and it's not just code. I learned that I made this mistake for a long time. I thought that only code, only technical skills uh, was enough, but it's not. Um, so if you just know how to code, it's far from enough. So you must focus on soft skills as well. You have to know how to negotiate um, and uh, you have to know how to present an idea to your managers because uh, in certain companies they only care about numbers and we have to change their mindset. So, um, so the first thing you have to convince them to use tests. Once you convince them, um, then you have to um, adopt a strategy because uh, when you when you're going to implement tests in a bad legacy code, you have to um, first implement uh, high level tests. So. Um, you could use, for example, Selenium, or um, you could use uh, REST tests. Um, so you have to use some kind of integration tests. Um, so uh, so then you you can uh, change your code. You can implement unit tests. So yeah, the, the, then second step you implement integration tests, um, and then. Once you have this test, you're gonna have more security to change the code, and then you're gonna change the code using baby steps because otherwise you you might break the uh, functionalities of your project. So um, yeah, you you must uh, implement uh, baby steps changing, like a sonar changing. Uh, I don't know if you ever use sonar, so um, if not, it's basically a software that helps you to identify small issues in your code, like for example magic numbers, um, uh, magic numbers is basically a, a hard-coded number that means nothing, so to solve this problem you just have to put a meaningful name in this number. So uh, for example you can remove uh, huge methods, you can break them into private methods, more meaningful name. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you, you can do these uh, small steps, you can change your code like this um, and then, then you're, you're gonna have a, a more, um, a better code, you're gonna have something to, um, I mean, you, you are going to track down bugs much easier, much more easily. So yeah, just to recap, uh, we're gonna have to convince your managers that having unit tests is a good idea. Second, second step, we're gonna have to uh, implement integration tests, at least uh, Selenium REST tests uh, or Archelian if you are working with uh, Java E. Uh, now uh, it's, uh, it's um, Jakarta E. Um, and uh, once you have these uh, integration tests, then you do uh, baby steps. You change your code um, slightly. You change um, those sonar issues, okay? And then, only then, you think of uh, changing the whole structure of your code. So you you change the the, the architecture. 
better saying. We, we can change for a standard pattern where it's not complicated, it's easy to change um, and then it's gonna be much easier to um, solve bugs and uh, just you, you won't be stressed anymore and you're gonna have more time for your family if you use those strategies. So um, yeah, don't forget to focus on other knowledge because um, only technical skills won't help you much. You will only um, reach at uh, a certain point in your career that you're gonna see man, you're just a technical person and uh, that that won't help you much if you really if you really want to achieve high on your career you need to go further than code you need to to be uh, beyond like uh, a technical person okay so yeah uh, this was the video from this week um, and uh, it's it's cool here because um, if uh, so it was I think it was here the the first piece of uh, Padme and uh, Anakin Skywalker um, and if they didn't have the first kiss here they uh, there wouldn't be a uh, Luke Skywalker <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a really cool place here and uh, that was it so focus on social um, social skills or uh, soft skills whatever uh, then you convince your superiors that uh, not having tests is a bad thing. It's gonna uh, bring your project to uh, a low quality project. Your customers will be complaining and the company won't have credit with uh, the customers. So it will be bad for everyone. Developers will be stressed. And uh, second, you implement the integration test and then do the baby steps changing. And then finally you implement unique tests. Unit tests, okay? So that's it. So stay tuned for more and uh, see you next week. Or uh, see you, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.